You left a nugget when you got up. Ew. What is that? What the hell? You were sitting right there. Ew. Where did you bring that from? It touches his bum. Oh, it's poop. <laughs> it smells like chocolate. <laughs> it's just brownie. Are you going to eat it? You are. Oh. touched your bum thinking you left a nugget. No, it's all in Amy's butt. <laughs> it still kind of grosses me out a little bit, though. It looks like a poop. <laughs> it looks like a poop. Today is Thursday, March 10th. We had a pretty busy surgery morning, so we had three neuters, uh, two lump removals, and we also had an ear laceration repair. We're neutering a dog. I'm definitely doing more routine stuff. Is <laughs> A little more relaxing like last week when we did our cystotomy i was definitely more nervous the night before but i also feel very supported by our team i never really feel like i'm like thrown into something or i'm very lucky i feel like he's gonna just be an oozy even just like from his skin he's just bleeding a lot more than more than our typical you got good blood pressure? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll just watch him after. This little vessel here is being alone. Let's hope it stopped. Great. We're just gonna take a sample of the lump before we take it off to make sure it doesn't look like a mast cell tumor, which would be a really aggressive tumor that we would need to approach differently and can cause some significant systemic effects. So I'm just going to be a little bit overly cautious on this one. Basically we just want to find out if we can take it off. Is it just like a benign growth or is it cancer? When we think of cancer, there's the disease that we see in one place and there's also, you know, disease that might be in another place in the body. So just because we take out a lump or a tumor that's in one place in the body, if it's spread to you know, the spleen or the lungs or the lymph nodes, if we just took out what we saw here, it would mean that we'd have uncontrolled disease elsewhere in the body. That's why it's really important, you know, if we're gonna take off a lump, we need to know beforehand what we're dealing with so we can treat it appropriately. Also different tumors, have different margins that we need to get and what that means is how big you know how much tissue around the lump so it's important for us to know what we're dealing with beforehand so that we can make sure we take out everything we need to get for example you take off a lump you send it away it comes back and you find out after the fact it's a mast cell tumor and you actually needed to get two to three centimeter margins on that then you have to go back in and try and do a revision surgery or a second surgery to get those margins. Well, maybe we don't want to go through with putting this dog through surgery if it's not going to take care of everything. It's a histiocytoma. Hmm. <laughs> we were just talking about <laughs> cancer versus non-cancer. Uh, histiocytoma is the most non-emergency because they regress on their own. I, mean, I think that the only thing is, is if it's, if the dog's gonna start licking at it and bugging it, probably take it off. So she, and she's under anesthesia. Mm -hmm. I would well, probably just take it. Okay. And that's why we check. Because sometimes if they're on the leg and it's a muscle tumor and you can't get two centimeter margins in a reduction, you actually might take off the whole leg. They were lied to if they were told to be He does seem to have more of like the Chihuahua personality though, right? Yeah. We usually say that if they're becoming aggressive, like typically we recommend, or I would recommend like neutering around eight, six months to a year of age, depending on the breed, six months if they're smaller, a year if they're bigger. However, if they're becoming aggressive, then I recommend neutering right away to try and minimize them becoming aggressive. He's just a small dog and there's just not a lot of room. 
because you're just not working with like the skin is really thin and your hole is small and getting it to close nicely is always a challenge. This is a seven month old weird cat and it, <laughs> it has sucks. something and we don't know what. And it needs a it, real adult. We it's honestly the testing. Yeah. Yeah. We're limited. It's a, it's a seven month old cat that presented probably two or three months ago for neurologic problems. At that point I'd recommended referral, owners declined. We suspected an ear infection, but like an inner ear infection, which was causing a bit of a head tilt and some circling. However, the weird part was, is there was an infection in both ears, which is not as common to see an inner ear infection in both. More often it's just one. We treated with some medications, steroids, antibiotics, topical ear medication. We flushed the ears really good. He's been off medication totally for about a week and now he's showing neurologic signs again. So I'm mostly concerned about there's something that's not allowing his ears to properly like drain. There's a lot of fluid sitting in there. There's no polyps or foreign bodies in the ear, but I'm worried about maybe be there being a polyp in the nasopharyngeal space or like back in the throat that's just not allowing things to drain properly. So I'm gonna try to convince them to go to referral and even just get like an opinion and an estimate on cost, then at least they might have a better idea of prognosis. This is just now like above what we can do in terms of diagnostics. We're taking out a gross lump because it keeps leaking out gross stuff. It's like a cystic follicle. It's just like a giant clump of stuff. Super awkward. I want to make sure we actually get the whole thing. Get all the keratin. Oh, it's gross. It's an instructure of stuff that's just it's, gonna. It is. That's a great yep. way to describe it. Unless you remove the balloon, you're gonna mm -hmm. constantly it's have gonna stuff keep... coming out of it. Oh, I have to stitch this ear back together. Better than bleeding everywhere. Button. It does look like a little belly button. There's, like, there's, there's like, no way like to Bella's not nipples. make it yeah. look like that. I have very high expectations. I, I want everything to look like it's beautiful and... It does. Uh, <sighs> ears are very fun. unsatisfying. They're so awkwardly shaped yeah. and they never look beautiful. <laughs> Left a little pull tab here. Well, this one probably won't stay on for long if the dog shakes, but it might just help with like pinning it down. Oh my god! Those are enormous! You're getting that in the video, right? Come on, let's get oh Nina. Come on, hand comparison again with your your hand. <laughs> well, I have like giant hands and I was like just go to face as my palm. It's just big. Starting. I'm gonna start. Same steps. It might bleed more, and it, you know what? It probably will bleed more. But all the steps are pretty much gonna be the same. I wouldn't even call it a horse. It's like um, like a mythical beast. <laughs> what the thick its skin is? <laughs> oh, my hands are cramping. <laughs> Oh, Marissa, I got Actually, it, I got it, I got yeah. it, I got it, we're good, we're I good. I just climbed for a press button. Oh, Holy. It's a handful. My thumb. Ooh, I didn't want to do open. <laughs> you are now. Well, because it's not open all the way. Oh, it is, it is. <laughs> well, that's okay, that's okay, not the end of the world. Oh. See, that's what I thought was going to happen, was that he was going to bleed a lot. But that's okay. I just ligate it under. Woo! That is... That is big. Is that a masculator? <laughs> Honestly. We were literally talking Honestly. <laughs> that's just like, it's just, it's so big. I just can't get over it. Woo! It's out. Good job! Woo. Yay! Wow, it is red. Yeah. Yeah. It's so angry. Oh, it's right? so angry. It looks like actually kind of gross. It's like a giant angry slug. 
monochrome me up and let's get out of here. I mean, it was definitely the biggest by a lot. Pretty much like everything was just a lot bigger and took a lot more strength to get it all out. But lots of fun. Always nice having something a little bit different. So it was pretty busy. We went all the way until lunch and now we're gonna head into an afternoon of appointments. Thank you.